Then Yan. There are a lot of questions on Gaganyan, but I have uh, added only four. Uh, one thing was uh, this: there was discussion regarding the 3.5 meter uh, capsule. Uh, current is 3.2 meter, and also the moon capsule will be the 3.5 meter. How does this capsule like like evolve? No, moon capsule we are not yet designed. Okay. Um, the uh, human going capsule is still not designed, so I can't comment on it. Huh. Right now we find that 3.2 is adequate. Hmm. And uh, the diameter increase is very dangerous because hmm. one is enveloped. Our vehicle is 4 meter class. Right. Inside uh, keeping a 3.5 meter is not easy. So the it was becoming critical with respect to its gaps mm -hmm. from the internal, the external shapes and its ability to come out hmm. uh, during separation safely, during mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. during abort, etc. So the choice of going to 3.2 is appropriate. But then, if you have to put more people and volume, we, we are considering it's increasing length rather than diameter. Oh, okay. So, that way we can create more volume in the future. That shape already has, uh, uh, already like, is helpful to more volume, right? It's more, more or less conical, more... Uh, yeah, we can add more cylindrical part to increase its volume. So, we are already working on that configuration as the next version. Okay. One interesting, uh, uh, like, why tractor-based escape system versus a pusher liquid based escape system because it seems like you're giving a a lot of that mass budget of the total stack is dedicated to the tractor which will be dumped versus say a, like your service module itself becomes the escape system a liquid motor based escape system i think i'd seen you all are working on proposed in one Not of service the module based service module is still in orbit escape only the hmm. diesel rating engine should be still on crew module only Service module engine cannot become that much of thrust giving. It is not possible. The crew module itself land, see, this is a question of choices. Hmm. If you want to do a la earth landing or hmm. a surface landing, you need to have a diesel rotor motor at the very close proximity. Yes, yes. Hmm. And when such a powerful engine is there, you can use it for escape. Hmm. So, hmm. then you can get rid of the towers. Right. And then ultimately, there are different options. One is solid motor based options, which the Russians are using mm -hmm. for them, yeah. versus liquid options, which the, uh, the Boeing has just now used. Mm -hmm. So, it's, it's uh, available to technology, which is. Uh, uh, see, the whole question is the crew escape system that we have today, mm. it's part of the rocket, mm. okay, not part of the craft, mm -hmm. which requires higher levels of reliability and quality and things mm -hmm. like that. And second is its impact on the overall lift of mass is high. Hmm. Today, the crew escape system is separated much early in flight. Yeah. So, you don't have to carry up to the orbital velocity. Whereas, when you add those things, you have to carry it up to the orbital condition. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So, the mass of the hull of the craft will increase. Corresponding, the vehicle also should be more powerful. Right. So, it is a trade off. You know, the hmm. Finally, if you want to put that into the crew model, the crew model will be heavier. Yeah. Because you are putting that much of propellant, that much of engine, mm -hmm. everything into it. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are not putting it, you are putting it externally, you can make it lighter. So, then the landing will be only in water. You can plan a land landing. See, in right. India, we, we, there is no possibility of a land landing that easily. Mm. So, there is no point in trying that option here. So, a tower based crew escape system is more uh, economical and viable than the, the one which the Boeing tried. But in a worse case, can it land on land? Like what will? No, what we cannot be? land on land because the velocity. Hmm. It is like this: the on touchdown, the velocity can be as high as ten meter per second. Oh wow! Okay. But it will be targeted to be six to seven, eight meter mm -hmm. per second. Mm -hmm. But worse case, some parachute failure, etc. Hmm. And water is the only way you can survive mm -hmm. if you impact in water. If ten meter per second, you land on land. Uh, the dislocation will be too high mm -hmm. to cause yes, the destruction. Yes, yes. So if you have to land on land, you need. A, just one meter, half a meter, two meter above, you need to fire motors mm -hmm. to reduce the velocity yes, yes, to yes. one to two meter per second. Yeah. That's how special, no, Russians, Russians land. Do. So, without that feature, you cannot do that. So, that feature is not there. That feature requires either solid based motors or liquid based motors and with all proximity sensors at that height. Possibly, you can look at it to incorporate later when you have higher payload capability like uh, NGLV coming up. Mm -hmm. You can add all those features, but with the LVM3, you cannot add. Okay, uh, and uh, what about reusing the capsule? I mean, it's water brings in challenges, but yeah, we will reuse. You will reuse. Yeah, already doing it for the escape. Uh, Last, uh, you know, you don't know that we are already reusing the the test TVD one hardware. 
ఎవ్రీథింగ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఇస్ పాసిబుల్ విల్ బి రియూస్డ్ ఓకే సో జి wait how is that series called earlier it was g1 g2 g3 then it became g1 g2 h1 h2 now what what is it same thing only g1 g2 g3 h1 yeah, h1 no change okay so g1 you are carrying a eclipse system yes okay. yeah, yeah. is is this eclipse system now being engineered with the space station in mind like the no 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 it has it is purely for crew module okay the space station uh, ecls system will be much bigger it's a diff- it's called regenerative ecls okay where the uh, waste will be recycled to convert into useful thing so you cannot work with the uh, months together with a ah. consumer so closed loop yeah, it will be more of closed loop they are different design ha ah, i think even all crew capsules i think open even dragon is open loop yeah, uh, we have to go all open loop otherwise it will be much more heavier a lot of it is better to discard the waste in right. a crew module but in space station you cannot discard Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, this is done. Uh, IDRSS status you already explained. Uh, potential improvement uh, in the capability of it. Uh, so, G1 won't uh, use IDRSS then? Our goal is to use. Let us see. But uh, it is not mandatory. G1 you can manage without uh, IDRSS because we have uh, other station support. So, TDRS and all uh, those. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. this first module was mentioned as it will be uh, uncrewed meaning it will be like a pure robotic space station module the first module you are talking about bas1 bas1 ha ah, bas1 is currently will be only for non human activity but it will have all the features when human is ready to go so human can go but in can go later when other additional modules are attached for example bas1 ah. will, will not have all the ecls capability ah, for ah, human ah. to stay okay but it when next module with the full ecls will come it can interface with this and make bas1 also leaveable okay, okay but when bas alone is there it is not going to be leaveable okay because the entire you know system cannot mm. be put in one module like ecls power everything so mm-hmm. further modules have to come mm. before it becomes habitable okay interesting 